Let's talk about uploading your interior files to Kindle Direct Publishing. I have an entire tutorial video on how to upload your entire book to KDP step by step, but today I want to talk about the specific things that you need to do to prepare your interior of your book for Kindle Direct Publishing. This video is a part of my Beginner's Guide to Self-Publishing, a book series here on YouTube. So if you're brand new to self-publishing, make sure to check out the entire playlist. If there's a topic in the playlist that I haven't covered yet, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do a video on it. My name is Mandy Lynn. I make weekly videos on the business of being an author. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you never miss a new upload. Before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I have a new writing sticker set available on my website, Stone Ridge Stickers. For those of you who don't know, I have a sticker store. I sell writing stickers, decorative stickers, functional stickers. Feel free to shop around, but I wanted to let you guys know about the Camp NaNoWriMo sticker set that I recently came out with. So if you're someone who's participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, where you're going to be spending the entire month of April or July writing your book, then this sticker set is for you. The sticker set comes with four different sticker sheets. The first is a book outline sticker sheet. The second is a word count sticker sheet. The third is a camping theme decorative sticker sheet. And the fourth is a camping themed washi tape sticker sheet. So all combined, these stickers are exactly what you need to make your planner functional and cute for Camp NaNoWriMo. So first things first, let's talk about trim size. Trim size is just the size of your book. I personally print my novels in five and a half by eight and a half, but what you can do is if you're indecisive on what your trim size should be, just go to a bookstore and pick up the books and literally measure them. See what size they are. You'll find most hard covers are eight by nine and paperback books tend to be five and a half by eight and a half or five by eight. Basically, when it comes to trim size, you're going to want to find the size that makes your book blend in with the other books on the shelf. You don't want an abnormally large book or an abnormally small book. You want your book to look like all the others. Because if it doesn't look like all the others, it is kind of obvious that it's self-published. Bleed is what you do when you have an image that goes all the way to the edges of the page. So for me, my book, Meet Me at the Summit, each chapter header has an image that goes all the way to the edges of the page. So the bleed is made so you have your design go over the edge of the page. That way you upload it with bleed to KDP and then KDP trims a little bit of the edge off so you have this beautiful seamless image. The KDP website has a page that illustrates this pretty well where there are instances where you might have a photo on the interior of your book that doesn't need a bleed and then there are instances where you have a photo that does need a bleed because it reaches all the way to the edge of the page. Basically all you need to know is if your image reaches all the way to the edge of the page you're going to want to export your document with a bleed and then if it doesn't reach all the way to the edge of the page you export it without a bleed. So depending on how you export your document is depending on which selection you make on KDP because when you upload the interior file of your book you have the option to select whether or not it has a bleed. If you want to learn more about formatting a book I actually have an entire book formatting course. I format all of my books with Adobe InDesign. I format them for print and ebook using Adobe InDesign and I explain things a little more thoroughly there and I also explain how you can add a bleed to your document. Plus if you watch this entire video you'll learn how you can access my template that I use when I'm formatting the interior of my book. Next let's talk about margins. So margins is the white space on the edges of our book. All the edges of our books are margins. We have the upper margin, lower margin, the margin that's on the outside of the book and the margin that's on the inside of the book. KDP has a website that says what their minimum requirements are for margins. If your document has no bleed, they want the margins to be a quarter of an inch. And if the document has a bleed, they want it to be 0.375 inches. 
So those are the margin requirements for the edges. That is different from the margin requirements for the spine. The spine margins, sometimes also called the gutter, are a little different. Now this is because we need to account for the fact that the book does this. The book opens up and you need that white space in between so you can still easily read all the words on the page. Now the requirement for the interior margin or the gutter changes depending on the page. Page count. Now KDP lists what the gutter requirements is for each page count and you can change it if you want to but what I do and what I do in my template that I have is I set it for three quarters of an inch. This is because if I have my gutter set for three quarters of an inch it'll work for books as thick as 700 pages and I always say there's nothing wrong with a little extra white space in the middle anyways. Now if your book is over 700 pages you're gonna need to change your gutter size but let's face it if your book is over 700 pages you're gonna want to mess with things in the formatting process to make sure that your book isn't over 700 pages because that's just going to be expensive to print. So if you need to, you can make the text smaller, you can make the line spacing smaller. Now if this all sounds overwhelming to you and you're like, what the heck is she talking about? That's where having a template comes in hand. So we're in Adobe InDesign and this is the software that I use to format my books. If you sign up to take my formatting class, you'll learn how to use Adobe software and you'll also get access to the template that you see me playing in right now. So if you sign up for the course, you'll get access to this and you'll be able to download it and customize it for your book. So I opened up the template because I wanted to show you guys things. And I feel like this will help visualize things a little bit more. So first, let's look at the bleed. So we see here all this white space is the page. And then we see there's this little red line on the outside of the page. This is our bleed section. And we can see that in action over here. So we have this image that I've added in. This is the illustration that I have at the start of every chapter. And the image goes outside of the page and all the way to the bleed that has created a border around the page. So basically what happens here is you see this illustration go past and then this line right here is where it gets cut later in the printing process. And that means we have this beautiful seamless look like we talked about earlier. So that is our bleed. Next up we have our margins. So right here you can see this box here is what created our margins. Side of this box like you can see right here we have our text box that's in set inside these margins. And then on the outside, this is the white space that we've created. So we have a bit larger of margins on the top and bottom. That gives us room to add our headers and footers later on. And then on the outside margins, we don't have quite as much white space. And then on the inside margins, which is this right here, this is also called our gutter. This is where the spine of the book is gonna be. And this is also why I like Adobe InDesign because it previews it exactly how it appears when it's printed. So we have our title page, like when we open up the cover of the book, our copyright page, the second title page, and then the book itself, it starts on the right hand side. In my formatting course, I show you exactly how to use this template, how to customize it, how to add in the text of your book and paste everything in. It's all explained in the course, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys so you can get a feel for how things work in terms of margins and trim and bleed. So if you use Adobe InDesign and you finish designing your book and you want to export, you just go to File, Export. And then you just make sure this is set for Adobe Print, you hit save again, and this is where we get our export options. The most common thing that you're going to need to mess with when you're exporting your book is the marks and bleed section right here. So I'm going to click that and we can see there's this bleed section here. So right now the bleed is not checked off. So if I exported this document right now, it would actually export it just with whatever's on the content of the page. It would not export it the slightly larger size that is needed when you're exporting for bleed. So if my document does have a bleed to it and I'm actively using the bleed, like right here, I would need to make sure I have this little box checked off and you see those settings change. We have a quarter of an inch set to the bleed. And now we know that this will export with our bleed successfully. And when we upload it to KDP, we're gonna click on the little box that says document with bleed. 
And one last thing I wanted to explain, especially when it comes to the margins, is how the book will appear when you view it as a PDF. Because when you view it as a PDF, it's going to look like this. It just appears page by page, one after the other. It does not appear the same way like right here, where it's laid out the same way it would be in a book. So when you view it on a PDF, it just may look a little weird because we can see that the margins shift. So we can tell this left hand side is the side that is going to be on the outside of the book and this right hand side is the spine of the book. And you can tell just because there's a lot more white space here than there is here. So I know immediately this is where the spine of the book is going to be. And then of course this page is the opposite. This page is the spine of the book and this page is the opposite of the book. And the only reason why I'm pointing this out is sometimes people when they export their document they see it kind of, it's not aligned. Like when you go down, if I were to take a ruler and go straight down, you'd see that these text boxes aren't aligned. It's supposed to be that way because again, it's supposed to look like this and it's supposed to print like this with two pages side by side and that spine in the middle. So naturally when you view it one after the other like this, it's not going to be aligned. The last thing I want to discuss is the types of software that you can use to format your book. Most authors are going to want to use Microsoft Word and I get it. I formed my, my first couple of books with Microsoft Word and you can totally do that. Just know it's going to be difficult. Microsoft Word can be very finicky when it comes to adding the headers and footers into your book and it can also just when you format it, it looks one way in the software and then you export it as a PDF and sometimes the pages shift a little and honestly there's just not anything you can do about that. That's just how Microsoft Word works. There's also other book for formatting software that is specifically designed for formatting books like Atticus or Vellum. You can use those, but my thing with those is that they don't let you customize quite as much. You're sometimes limited to how you can add graphics into your book and what types of fonts you can add into your book. Whereas if you use Adobe InDesign, you can literally customize it for as long as you know how to use the software, which is why I made my book formatting course that teaches you specifically how to use Adobe InDesign to format your book. If you want to learn more about Adobe InDesign and why I don't like using Microsoft Word to format books, I actually have an entire video on it, so I'll leave that link down below. I also have an entire video that is a tutorial on using Microsoft Word, so you can watch it, see if you're up for the challenge. Um, like I said, you definitely can get it done, it just takes way longer. And sometimes it can be impossible because it just doesn't want to work. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if you have any requests for future videos. Otherwise, I will see you all next week.